You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. I am back with a reaction video, and like I told you, I wanted to, you know, get into it. The Ray and Kiana J situation because I'm in a business and no one is in mine and I'm just so grateful, so thankful. This video is off of Ray So Wavy YouTube channel. This is the new 2021 Q&A, what y'all been waiting on, must watch. Before we get into the video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment down below, you know what I'm talking about, share my content. And I fuck with my shirt, shout out to Slutty Vegan ATL. It say we don't fuck with the cow meat, that's on big period, I don't eat that stuff. I don't eat beef, y'all. I haven't ate beef in, mm, definitely going on a year. And I haven't had pork in probably two years. I'm so proud of me. Anywho, you guys, I will be munching and crunching and eating. I was going to say snacking, but nah, I'm definitely hungry, so this ain't no snack. Three waffles, you know, butter, uh, syrup, and I got me some OJ, and I got me some special juice. I'm going to just get my old. Get my OJ together. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into this video. Let me say my grace. Amen. What's up, Wavy Gang? It's your girl, Ray. Yo! She's so beautiful. Definitely gonna be a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. But I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna give y'all some little spicy, you know, nice tea question, and we really gonna get into it. If you're new to this channel, 2021, welcome to the wavy <laughs> game, the latest game on YouTube right now. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. You gotta join the family if you're here. I'm Ray So Wavy. Why she grab her boob like that though? Y'all, yeah, I am a boob type of woman. I love boobs. I love a woman. I love boobs. I love ass. I love thighs. Back. Arms. Elbows. I be looking at people's elbows. Your knees. Your ankles, bitch. All that pretty little shit matter. This the way the game is. We always open arms. Welcome to the fam. If you ready for this video, if you ready for the videos of 2021, if you ready for Ray So Wavy on your phone, your <laughs> computer, your tablet, anything, get this video a thumbs up right now. We need this video at 10K today. Let me let me know how y'all coming off on 2021. We need this video. Did she say 2021 one more time? Right now, if y'all ready for this Shit. video. And I I feel her on that. I feel her on that. I feel her on that. This is what I'm gonna say. Oh. Um. Let's 
thing. Something that y'all been wanting to know, so let's get into it. The first question is, how many kids do you want? Personally, y'all, I always said I only wanted two kids, three for the most, but two for sure. Two um, for the most. I for definitely me. wanted to do twins if my girl get lucky. You feel me? And of course, I will be having you know babies with a woman. But um, I definitely want two twins. I either want a boy and a girl or two boys. I can't do two girls. God, please don't give me two girls. I just don't. I would definitely rather have a boy first, though. I definitely want a son. That is like my dream. I want a boy first, too. Boy, so I definitely only want three at most, but two, you feel me, like on the safe side. Just two for sure. Do you want to get... For me, I want four at most because I have to consider what my partner wants. Not to say what I want and what she wants, but I'm just saying. One or two is the minimum. Which don't make no sense because I want to carry my partner's egg and then I want to have a baby with my own egg. And then who's to say that we don't want to adopt? That's one, two, three. And then I got to count her having her baby because I want my, my partner to have a baby. I want her to be pregnant. So yeah, that's four kids. Like I said, I want to carry her egg. Which I feel like because her egg, it ain't my egg, so the egg would be different. But I want her egg in my belly. And then I want to just, you know, go off my own egg and just see what, what my egg cracking on. Get married. Um, I like the stage that I'm in in life right now. Marriage is just not on my mind. If I run into someone that I'm really just like, oh my God, like, I don't even, you know, like, just you really certain. You get what I'm saying? And I have Until I run into somebody and I'm just like, I cannot picture life without you at all. Like, I damn near will have to kill myself. Like, if it's like that, that ain't healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you feel me? I had to go that deep. I, that, that, ain't, that ain't healthy, right? But I literally had somebody the other day ask me this question. Like, do I see myself getting married in the next one to two years? And I didn't think that question was realistic because I feel like when you ask, when you ask somebody, do you, do you see yourself getting married in the next one or two years? First of all, I need to be with somebody to be getting married in the next one or two years. And I need to see myself getting married to that person in the next one or two years. I just can't be out here asking myself, Jay, you gonna be getting married in the next one or two years and bitch ain't got no girlfriend. I don't know how that works. But I definitely want marriage. You know what I'm saying? I want to be married to a woman. I want wedding. I want to be walking down the aisle. I want some like futuristic dream girl. Mary had a little lamb type of wedding. Big period. Over the top. I want shit that's like over the top for her, over the top for me, over the top for everybody. I just want a, a nice, yeah, I want a wedding. It ain't gotta be big, but the shit that's involved is gonna make it big anyway. I mean, we, us get married, that's big. I don't know what's gonna get bigger than that. <clears throat> Excuse me, Lord. This OJ is amazing. Mm. Like that. But right now, my answer is no. Okay, next question. What's your birthday and your zodiac sign? I am an Aries. Shout out to I did not know she was a Taurus that she was an Aries. Ugh. Wait, hold on before y'all come for me. It ain't nothing wrong with all Tauruses, and that's all I'm gonna say. Gang, we one of the litest signs. I don't care what anybody say. I love Taurus people. I feel like Taurus are one of the most genuine people out one of the most genuine signs. Really Kikita, that until they get in your business. business. You know what I'm saying? It's coming up. We going big way in the game. I just want y'all to know that. We got something. Hey, I got some, hey, I got some shit for y'all. So just stay tuned. But we definitely going up on my birthday. So if you Everybody want to talk, make sure you comment your birthday. You know, comment towards the end of your comment. All right, next question. Do you wear sew ins or glue ins? I've never had a glue in in my life. Ooh, no offense to people that get glue ins. Oh no. No, 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 no. I mean, I never had a glue in either. I've had a sew in plenty of times. I had a wig a few times. But I thought baby girl did wear sew ins. But that was funny how she said it. I don't want real hair. No, no, no. Y'all see my real hair. Y'all know I actually 
that's a really, I really take care of my real heart too. I'm in sewing, so, and of course, a lot of people be wondering, is this my real heart? No, it is not my real heart. I'm just say that right now. It looks very natural because that's how I act. The person who does my hair to do it. But I definitely wear sewing, no blue ends. I don't think it's safe to put blue on your hair. See, I, I knew that one her hair. Only because I've seen it really rip people hair out. I mean, some things do too, but not like who is. Mm. Somebody said, What is your main source of income? Dang! So I Get her box! I did this video, I was just on live, and I told y'all that YouTube isn't my main source. I will never get on camera and tell people my main source of income yeah, only because I feel like, you know, certain things you do keep to yourself. Not yeah. saying that I do anything, you know, like whatever. whatever. Freaky nasty. She ain't out here scamming and in scandals. Maybe I should have kept it to myself. I feel like once it comes down to money and shit like that, like you don't speak on that type of thing. So like this probably a kid that asked me, but just for people, they ain't got no profile people picture. do ask you about your money or how do you move any of that, don't ever just give them too much. You get what I'm saying? You don't never discuss that type of especially in the world that we in today, never discuss the type of money you make and the amount, none of that shit with anybody. Because people for one they use it against you. Yep. They set you up. Yep. All type of shit. You just never know. Why they just wanna be nosy. The fact that she said that, hold on, because I got to go to the comment section of yesterday's video. I put this video out at 12.15 a.m. Um, and I woke up at 7 a.m. And I had almost a thousand views. So thank you so much for those who were up late at night watching my videos. I definitely appreciate you. But, uh, <clears throat> this comment came from Showdown561. You said, Kiana is fine. That's about it, though. Ooh. Something about her I just don't like. She seemed like the type of chick that would set you up home invasion on her own boyfriend or girlfriend. But it most likely probably be her boyfriend. And then Marshall, the one and only, you was like and hide in the bushes and watch. You can't trust everybody. That's all. You just can't trust everybody. And put your business out there. Even though you're already putting your business out there, don't do it. You feel me? Out there. My main source of income <laughs> comes from something very legal. I just don't really speak on that. And I hope don't nobody take offense to that, really, though. But I hope certain, certain people do understand, too. Of Next course. question Do you believe in soul ties and have you ever experienced it? Um, I definitely believe in soul ties. I believe I had one definitely with a female I previously was messing with. Um, That's because we did have a lot of. And it was very hard for me to. I feel like it was just very hard for me to get out of that cycle because of how much sex we. Bro, that shit is real as fuck. It wasn't a previous relationship, but it was a previous situation shit that I should have never situation shit my shit. It was not fuck. <laughs> it wasn't a relationship, but I was definitely having relations with this woman that wasn't mine. Now we had so much damn sex. We had so much fucking sex that I allowed myself to be allowed. And I'm just so glad that, you know, I ain't no dummy. And I ain't too naive because I could have really got my heart broken over some dumb shit. But I ain't allowed myself to fall. All kind of stuff she let me do. And uh, <laughs> oh my god. When I tell you I was just like a hand and foot for her. And I would like literally drop everything that I was doing for her and... The same was not reciprocated. I'm going to use Taylor. It wasn't reciprocated. You know, I would go out of my way and meet her where she is. And she wouldn't even come halfway for me. I would have to still drop what I'm doing. And I feel like God was also talking to me while I was dealing with this woman. Because I would tell myself, and I just feel like sometimes when I tell myself that's God telling me. I would tell myself like, Jay, you're not going to be with her. Jay. She is too high maintenance for you. Jay, you're not her type. Jay. I got to a point where I felt uncomfortable. I got to a point where like... Because first of all, we was doing what we were doing for almost a damn year. But I'm going to say about the, like the eighth month mark. My ninth month mark when I would have had my baby. And you know how you just figure out your baby daddy ain't shit or your baby mama ain't shit. Yeah, I just got to the point of after my pregnancy. And I was like, yo, like... This, like, this, it was turning me off. It was turning me off on how the fact that everything that we did was on her time. It was never compromised. It was never, I even feel, like, I just got uncomfortable 
doing the shit that we would do. And the last time that I seen her, I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to get some Uchi Walla Walla Bang Bang. And baby was not giving me them Uchi Walla Walla Bang Bang vibes. And I was like, do you really think I'm here for no Uchi Walla Walla Bang Bang? Come on, chocolate drop. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I said to it. I'm out of here. So, I definitely do believe that shit is real because I couldn't break that cycle for a good solid seven to eight months. So, I definitely would say, why do you have sex with? Why do yes. y'all interact with each other? And yes. Stuff, how close? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is real, y'all. Yeah. Don't know what anybody said after they experienced something like that. And it was so hard for me to break that cycle. And it was so hard for me to look at them without thinking of sex. Like, so fing hard. Like, it was just more so like, yeah, we cool, but you still gonna let me. Yeah! Don't get me wrong, I felt I felt invited when she invited me. But I was definitely trying to get that Uchi Walla Walla Bang Bang in a new whip and she, she wasn't even trying to... Or, you know, like, oh my God. I just remember that night like it was yesterday and it pisses me off. I was so ready to go, but I was too fucked up to go. Bitch fell asleep mid-conversation, she fell asleep. I said... So fucking disrespectful. And then I wake up and she was already up. It's like, damn, why you didn't wake me up when you woke up? Or why you wait? Why you wake up to what you all want, baby? I just felt like she was ready for me to get out. I had to get out of there. Little slut. And the next time I talked to her after that, I was I was like dry as fuck. I was not feeling it. It was like, when you gonna come see me? And I was like, I don't know. I'm pretty busy. <laughs> Pretty fucking busy. Like, it was like that. Like, it was always the sex part that kind of overtook the entire relationship. So, I definitely believe in soul ties 100%. Somebody said your biggest blessing. Uh, I would say my biggest blessing definitely was my grandmother. So, present, no, past, I would definitely say my grandmother was my biggest blessing because if it wasn't for my granny, I would not be here, sitting right here in front of this camera. But, um, right now, my biggest blessing, uh, ooh. Say friends and family because without my friends and family, like I just feel like I would be like very just like all over the place, you know. And my friends and family usually be the main people that definitely keep me in the game and keep my head in the game and my wavy game. So all three of my wavy game, my family, my friends, them three are my biggest blessings right now for sure. And I love y'all to death, and I mean that. The next question: How is your mental health lately? I'm actually to keep it above with y'all. I've been. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this sin I, I've been happy is kind of like y'all look at that and be like, how the fuck can she be happy? Like, it seemed contradicting. You know, I know y'all see everything that's been going on, but like, I've been so just content with life, y'all. I think I have a better understanding. I feel like when you do things out of the kindness of your heart and you are really a genuine ass person and you really do things for the better good. You know, when fucked up shit happen to you, you just be like, you know what? It is what it is. And you be so happy and really content in knowing that whatever you had going on with whoever or whatever situation, you know what I'm saying? You just really being true to yourself in that moment. Fucked up shit can't really fuck, fuck you up. And that has happened to me, oh my God, plenty of times. But I'm going to definitely say, like, my last um, two friendships, not situationship. Well, one was a situationship, one was a friendship. Um, I definitely was being, like, a true person to them is what I felt like. And I just felt like I got the short end of the stick from them. I just did what I had to do. I cut ties um, the way that I needed to cut ties. If anybody ever had disrespected me spoke on me in the wrong way you know what i'm saying bitch you're blocked you 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 can't even you can't even reach out you can't even see how a bitch is doing you know what i'm saying but if i just feel like what we were doing wasn't even right in the first place you never have disrespected me or anything like that you know what i'm saying then i just i just go silent like i just i'm not gonna reach out you know your number ain't blocked but i'm just i'm just not reaching out so yeah you know how your phone texts you and it be like, maybe it's this person. Maybe, I, I I have so many of them. It's just like, maybe it's this person. Maybe it's that person. I be like, maybe it's who? 
Like, Siri, if I delete the number, why the fuck? Why the fuck did you remember? Siri. Siri. I'm listening. If I delete the number, then how do you remember the person number and name? I found this on the web. A lot of things in my life, and I feel like that's what's causing my happiness. Like, I have grown to understand a lot of things that's been going on in my life. I don't really know how to explain this, but I do believe my happiness has come from me being content and having understanding over a lot of things. So, like, lately I've been chilling. Like, I've been in a good mood. I haven't been trying to really let anything destroy my mood. I see hey. how, like, a lot of things are playing out, and I see how much they can defeat my mindset. So, lately I've just been thinking positive. So, I've really been just chilling for real. That's why my energy is up in this video, if y'all can't tell. Like, I feel like if I would have came into this video, I, first of all, I would not, I want to say this right now, I would not be in front of this camera if my mental state was off. Personally, if y'all have noticed, I take a lot of breaks on my YouTube channel. And majority of the time when I do take breaks is because I either I'm going through something or I really just need a break. But half of the time, I be going through shit, y'all. So, like, I'm not a YouTuber that will get on camera and fake like I'm good. I feel like a lot of YouTubers think I got to get this money. See, me... It's not like that because YouTube isn't my main income. Oh. So it's just like, I do this for y'all, but in general, like, if I'm not in the right mindset to get on camera, I would not get on camera. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably been some videos I just wasn't, like, in the best mood, but, like, mentally just off on some shit. Nah, like, I can't just get a camera and be like that. It's, it's really too hard for me. Where are you from? I am from Illinois. My family is from Mississippi. So if you hear me talk country, I will say... All the time. Ear, I say her. I don't say ear. I say her. Like it's hard for me because if I say those type of words, I really have to pronunciate what I'm saying. So like I'll be like ear. Like I don't have to talk like uh. Like I don't know. It's weird, but I definitely I like worry. Like I like y'all see like y'all like me say like certain shit, and I can't really not dumb. I'm not dumb. I just can't pronounce the words like how y'all pronounce it or how some people cause my accent is strong. Um, next question. What is your biggest regret? Um, I typically don't regret anything in my life because I feel like everything is a lesson learned. There are some never agains, but nothing that I regret to the point where I'm just like, oh, like I hate my life. Like I've never had one of those moments. So yeah. Next question. How is your relationship with your family? I love my siblings to death. Me and all my siblings are like this. We just, they just not like a media type of family. Jeez, my relationship with my family, it's so complicated. It's always been complicated and dysfunctional. You know, and you and you try to be the person that's like, you know, you're going to be the one to fix it. But, Lord, I can't fix it by myself. I can't, y'all. And the, mm, do I want to talk about this? I do want to bring my family into some of my videos this year. And I already talked to them about that. So, y'all yeah, definitely will see, like, my brothers and sisters in there. Like, well, my brother and I have a sister. Y'all yeah, know I had two sisters. One of them passed. And if you didn't know, if you knew... I had two sisters, one of them just passed a year and a half ago, well, wow. a year or two months ago. I definitely want to put them on my channel this year, so stay tuned for that, because my channel, y'all, like, I'm finna love the content I'm gonna be able to give y'all. Next question, have you ever tried anal? No, I've never tried anal ever in my life. There's nothing about anal that intrigues me. Treats me nothing. I just, that kind of shit, that shit is a little too kinky for me. Um, <coughs> studs i like no labels i just don't like nobody that's me 
I can't date it. I can't date me. I couldn't date somebody like me. Maybe I could, for real, for real. Cause I know, I know like what they'll want all the time. Love and affection. <laughs> could I date me? I'll get on my motherfucking nerves. I don't give a fuck neither. And I would tell myself, bitch, I don't give a fuck. And I'd be like, okay, I don't give a fuck neither. And we'll just be going back and forth how we don't give a fuck. Then we'll probably start like kissing and making out and fucking. And then I'd be like, you hungry? And she'd be like, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm like, I already know what you want. You want some fries and honey mustard? She'd be like, duh. Or some chicken. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. I just like women that's fine as fuck. That give me like zaddy vibes. That know how to handle me. For real, for real. And are sweet and nice. But not no pussy. Like, like physically and like, y'all know what I'm saying? I don't think I could do that. I, I don't think it would turn me on. I don't think I would be interested in like somebody that's physically like that. Like, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could do that. Like, 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 I don't
believe in myself and I do believe like this shit is deep for real. Like in my life, like that shit is deep. So like I really do believe sometimes I do be living for other people and I don't live for myself and I try to live for myself and I do sometimes. But when it comes to major things in life that can really bring me, the people around me, really help the people around me, it's kind of like I'm doing it for them. You know, yeah, I get where I'm coming from. But okay, next thing. Do you tend to focus more on the present or worry about your future? Um, I used to be a person that worried about my future a lot because, shit, I did sports, y'all. So I feel like doing sports and shit, like, that's gonna always... Mm, I did sports in high school, and I just, oh, I just really wish I would have stuck with everything that I was doing. I was just... Oh, I need an escape, y'all. I was really, like, going through a lot of shit at home. A lot. Not all with my parents, you know, with my guardians. I used to live with my uncle and my aunt. Um, I just was going through a lot. And I was just confused and I just really didn't understand what was really going on. But damn, man. If I can go back, I don't know. I mean, I know, but it's just like... Why didn't I? Like, why didn't I confined in someone at the school, like a counselor or my favorite teacher or my basketball coach? Like, why did I not confine in them, you know, and talk to them and let them help me? Or when people were trying to help me, why did I not let them help me? Why did I want to and why was I such a bad ass? Make you worry about what are you going to do next? Like, because it's like, with me in sports, I was really good at what I did. So, like, I would always just be like, all right, what's my next move? This is something I need to use to build on this. Like, I don't know. Like, it was always a order thing with me. And I'm a very organized person. Like, if you ever be around me, you will see I'm very organized. I really got an OCD, like, being around mess and stuff. But I'm a very organized person. So, like, lately, I think from me too. shit I've been through, and this is just real life, I feel like lately I've been more focused on the past because I haven't healed from my past. That's why I said September was kind of the period I was generally happy because I was still healing. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, you know, fucked that up. Y'all know, but I was still in the midst of healing. And I don't know, like, I feel my mind, I feel like your mind can play a lot of tricks on you and it can really, like, lead you into some shit that just, like, fuck. Like, why did I do that? But overall, like, I feel like the shit that I have been through lately and just all the things that y'all have seen, it has made me focus more on the past, even in situations, because it's kind of like hard. Like, you kind of like, a, like, I'm busy. Like, you get, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, it was just, yeah. So, like, lately, though, I would definitely say my past has been an issue, and I'm gonna keep it above. But now, future all the way. No stepping back. And I did ask me that. Like, it's only moving forward. Like, I, I Big have period. to keep mindset to keep moving forward. Like, no cap. Next question. What's one thing your mother taught you that you will pass down to your kids? One thing that I want to tell y'all, fun fact, that my mom is a tourist as well. We both are tourists. One thing that my mama taught me, though, is to look out for the people around you regardless, no matter what. Care for the people around you. I come from a family of love. So, like, y'all see that I'm a very, like, lovable person. Like, y'all know I kind of show my emotions a my family, I don't want to talk about my family. Why do I keep doing this? No, I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to do this right now. A lot, which is crazy, is I, I wasn't even like that at first. Like, with the old Ray, I was not how I am now. That's what, like, blows my mind when I look at myself. I be like, wow, I was never, I was more nonchalant, not giving a fuck. Like, ask anybody around me. I really was like, anybody that y'all see me with, they would tell y'all, like, Ray, how she is now, she was not like this at first. Like, I don't know. I feel like now I'd be overly emotional because I used to have a hard time showing yes, my emotions. Which so. is crazy. That's why I'm saying y'all really don't know me. But like, um, Damn. I really teach my kids to show love. You feel me? Always. Y'all see I'm always showing love regardless of whatever it happens. Like, I just have a My family, I'm going to say this. Hell, shit, fuck it, let's go there. I ain't gonna go all the way there, but we gonna go there. My family lacks love. They lack love, affection, communication, all that shit. So I literally had to, look at me getting aggressive. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad. I ain't gonna get mad. But I had to learn that through other people or I had to teach that to myself. And late as fuck, I hate it that I learned or caught on so late but I feel like I know how I want to be loved and I know how to love so I just it means a lot to me or I don't I don't know I don't know
I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. This why I fuck with Ray. Ray, she be talking that true, real shit. Like, for real. I really do fuck with Ray. And I don't understand how Ray was... It's okay. We all just make mistakes. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Big ass heart. And I feel like that's what this world needs. Not trying to go deep. But I do believe this world lacks love a lot. And that's why so much hate and bitterness. So I'm going to always be that person to spread love. I don't give a fuck what's going on. I don't care who don't like it. I see people trying to throw little subliminals like her face positive ass. How do you be face positive when I do this shit every day? Like keep it a buck. I do who said that about day. you? I'm a very consistent person when it comes down to their life. I just feel like it's easy to get in a negative mindset. It's easy to have negative vibes. I don't like negative people. I don't like y'all remember I'm just bringing up all shit in my past videos because I feel like my character has been questioned a lot and I don't like that's why I don't really fuck with this media shit because when it comes down to my character, I don't like how people try to take a mistake and make it into that's who this person really is. I don't I understand fuck with that. that. So like I'm always the type of person that just be like, I don't like people with bad attitudes and shit. Like I don't like stuff like that because I feel like all that shit is negative. Negative, negative. I don't like negative people. So yeah, I would definitely just teach my kids what my mom taught me just to give out love, bro, because a lot of people need that shit. You run into people that we that probably act all hard body and like everything good. Them be the main ones that need love, y'all. I swear to God. I swear to God. Don't swear to God. It's bad kids, but I gotta have it doing this. Clay said, how do you feel so comfortable with your sexuality? Love your channel. Tomorrow. Oh, she did do a part two. Alright, bet say less. So we definitely gotta hit on part two. Not right now though, because I definitely gotta end this video. Um, get ready for work, you guys. I'm on a little hookah before I go to work because I need a cheap key. I'll fuck with Ray, y'all. I'll fuck with Ray. Hell, Ray almost had me going within myself and get a little emotional within myself. And Ray, I'm going to end this video. I love you guys. I think I just made a mistake. But I'm going to fix it. Okay, I got it. Be blessed. Yeah, I, I think I definitely made a mistake and it's about to annoy the fuck out. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be back. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to be back like right now. I'm going to be back tomorrow because, yeah, when I get off work, I'm, I am I got to edit this video and I'm not going to have time to record until tomorrow morning. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, but make sure you like, comment, share, uh, subscribe, and um, be blessed and stay safe. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Share love like Ray was trying to say. And child, I'm about to get annoyed. I think I just... Nah, I ain't conceited I'm a different breed it. Catch you slipping, best belief I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho Turn your wife to my hoe Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes You know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch She buying seven rings like I'm Ariana yeah.